What up, y'all? I went ahead and picked up the other figure I had on hold, the uh, open face attack version, uh, version of the Predator figure from uh, Reaction Figures from some uh, Super Seven Funko. Blah, 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 blah. Anyhow, um, yeah, I had him hold it for me because I couldn't afford to just get every figure, but uh, I had, you know, I had to get him. I want an army build with these dudes. Plus, I mean, it'd be really cool to build an army of Predators because we never had these when we were kids, and it's cool to have them now. But yeah, I love the. Uh, version of the uh cover photo on here it's really really rad looks really really cool there's a look at the figures in the back i will be picking these two up soon also because they still had them and i got them to hold them for me so the translucent version is pretty cool it's just clear translucent you can kind of see some of the inner joints and stuff inside of it or whatever you know or the inner workings that you know used to snap together the if the inside machine molding or whatever you want to call it or whatever but yeah yeah i'm really stoked to get these figures but um yeah i totally want to army build with these guys let's get a figure yeah he's got a pretty gnarly open mouth laser cannon it's pretty much the same figure just different head same figure i don't think there's anything i think the details too too much different it's pretty much the same all the way around but um but yeah they kind of suffer a little bit i don't know i think all reaction figures kind of suffer from walkie leg syndrome but so do star wars figures because i have a boba fett here that um it's has a little kind of he's kind of warped so he you know he's a little wonky too but um but yeah i'm stoked to get this figure it's got a cool design on top of the head reminds me of like a spider or something Something a bug or whatever would have. I don't know if it's a tattoo or just skin markings or whatever. Probably. And, uh, yeah. Can't wait to uh, build an army of these guys. Because uh, it'll be cool for uh, good old Snake Plissken to take on these guys. Which would be pretty neat. And, um, yeah. something. But there's just something about these reaction figures. They don't always want to stand great. Especially, uh old uh, Rocketeer he kind of sucks but here's some more uh, size comparison with some other figures here's a Mego Pocket uh, Heroes uh, Spider-Man he might be a little taller I think and here's a Remco um, Dracula which is he might be a little shorter come to think of it yeah he might be shorter than everybody yeah to be honest and then and then we got Creature from the Black Lagoon. That'd be kind of cool. It'd be cool to just make a whole bunch of little movies or do some uh, pictures with a lot of these uh, figures and stuff. I need to pick up some more from this wave, but uh, I mean, I don't, I'm not made of money, so you know, they're just they'll be around. So I'll always be able to, you know, get some other ones. I really want to get a uh, the Invisible Man because I think he looks hilarious. I think that'd be a funny, funny figure to get. But um. But yeah, I'm stoked to have these figures, man. It's, I want to set up my Death Star playset and do some cool pictures or or something with them, man, because it'd be really, really cool. And I can't wait to have a full uh, squad of um, a Predator, man, to, to do some battle. It'd be really, really cool. But yeah, let's, again, let's check them out. Uh, it's pretty gnarly. Yeah, these are rad. These are really rad. Glad I have them. And I suggest if you can find them, go out and get them. Because I think if you have any really good comic shops in town, you should be able to find them. It shouldn't be that hard. Because if they're out in Texas, they got to be out elsewhere too and stuff. So, um, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, guys. And, uh, yeah, more reviews and stuff on the way. Peace.